drones, UAVs, UASs, whatever you want to call them, they are now firmly entrenched in modern battle tactics. To counter the threat, the Air Force Research Lab is bringing a god to the battlefield. This is the Tactical High Power Operational Responder, or THOR. It uses high power electromagnetic waves to bring down swarms of enemy drones. It was designed to protect air bases. The technology for THOR cost just $15 million to develop, a bargain by DoD standards. Unlike the Norse God, this THOR comes in a 20-foot transport container. Two people can set it up in three hours, and it runs off wall power, not lightning. THOR was designed to be used easily by most any operator. The AFRL successfully demonstrated the technology in early April at Kirtland Air Force Base in New Mexico. The exercise involved simulating a drone swarm attack where multiple craft are sent in the offensive. The AFRL says THOR dropped the drones from the sky using its non-kinetic, speed-of-light, high-power microwave pulses. Details were not released about what kind of drones were used in the demonstration or how many, but THOR's program manager said the weapon was effective against numerous targets that the system had never seen before. The U.S. Army is also invested in the THOR project. The AFRL said last year it's developing a follow-on system to THOR as well. That system will use the same technology as THOR, but add more advances in capability, reliability, and manufacturing readiness. The name of Thor's follow-on project, Mjolnir, of course. To learn more about some of the weapons designed to counter unmanned aerial systems, be sure to check out straightarrownews.com, where you'll always find the unbiased, straight facts. Thanks for watching. We know that Americans' trust in media is near an all-time low. That is why Straight Arrow News is on a mission to bring you unbiased, fact-based reporting. To make sure that you get the journalism that you trust, like and subscribe to Straight Arrow News below. And to catch all of our content, go to our website, straightarrownews.com.